has filed uh, an additional appeal with regard to their landfill. Uh, our brief as Appley is due in September. I don't know the exact date. Bob, do you know the date? 25th, perhaps. Um, in the past, uh, we have used uh, outside counsel for this. I am presuming it is the county's intention to continue to use outside counsel. Uh, but I guess I want some reaction. Let me put it to you this way. We can do nothing, and the appellate court will either make it truly based upon the law or presume that we no longer care. Um, <laughs> So I don't think that's a viable solution, but we could do nothing and spend no money and file no documents. Uh, or uh, we could request uh, Mr. Helston and his team to file an appropriate response to uh, the brief that we anticipate will be coming from the representatives of waste management. Uh, I'm just looking for feedback if you have any, and I'm here to give you notice that we're going to be spending money to do that unless this group uh, as well as the board, I'm sure, eventually tells me that's a bad idea. Um, with that in mind, uh, just as an update, uh, and again, I guess this stays in old business because it's similar or related. Uh, recently, we received uh, our statement from uh, outside counsel with regard to the town and country appeal. Uh, since uh, the filing, or since the initial ruling this year, by the third district appellate court, we've uh, spent somewhere in the neighborhood of $38,000 on attorney's fees uh, to maintain our position with the Supreme Court. And again, that is just an informational thing so that you know, so when people say to you, are we still in the fight? Yes, we are. Uh, is it costing us money? Yes, it is. How much? This will give you an idea of where we're at today. Um, so if there are any questions or comments with regard to where we are with those, I, I wanted to share those with the committee today. Oscar, can you tell us more about this waste management uh, petition? Simply that the best way to describe their most recent petition is they are asking the appellate court, and the appellate court has agreed to hear the argument and read the briefs, asking the appellate court to apply the ruling from town and country one to the application process with regard to waste management. And by that I mean, um, initially, each case was decided, first of all, on its own merits, and second of all, based upon the arguments that were presented by the parties. The arguments that were presented with regard to the fairness of the process and the application of certain uh, clauses within the statute for review by the Pollution Control Board, uh, were never an issue, or at least never an issue appropriately raised in the waste management litigation. Those were raised in town and country. Waste management now, I believe, sees an opportunity to say, hey, wait a minute, the Supreme Court has now ruled, <coughs> excuse me, has now ruled that this is the way it has to be done. This is what the Pollution Control Board must review. Therefore, please reverse your decision in our case and tell the Pollution Control Board to look at our case the way they looked at town and country. Their belief is, if that is done, the position they've premised is if that is done, they will then be approved and everything will go forward and they will get their either great big landfill edition or their uh, kinder, gentler edition of, of less size. So that's the gist of where they are. They are now taking the rulings that have been made in town and country and asking the courts to apply those rulings to waste management's litigation. It, it's not unheard of, it's not unusual that once the Supreme Court makes a ruling, anybody who has something that's still somewhat abide in the courts will jump on what they believe is a favorable portion of that ruling and say, hey, 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 this is us too. Give us a break. So that's where we're at. No really new issues, just new applications. Any questions? I'll start the program. Because this is up in old business, we can't do anything. Uh, I'm not, look, I, I, well, I don't, no, I wouldn't expect you to do anything. I just want your feedback. At this point, we're going to continue to go forward because that's been the directive of this board with regard to the waste management mitigation. I'm just here to tell you 
that in fact we're now going to be required to go forward and if you've got objections or directions other than the ones we've already received I need to know uh, sometimes it's important that our office simply come before you and say well we're, we're in litigation again unless you change your stance we're going to continue forward based on your directive you know several years ago now that we fight to the end of waste management and I say keep going I, I would suggest that since we can't take any action we really too late to really get it on any of the other agendas we bring it up at the county board meeting under old business and and uh, so that you have a clear indication i believe the whole board is probably going to say yes we want to continue on that's fine with that direction so i think we would need a motion for you to stop otherwise you just i would too I, I yeah i'm not looking for somebody yeah. to say yeah yes please keep going I, i'm anticipating that's my directive until i get an opposite directive we're not going to stop but you all also need to know that so long as we keep going forward, it does cost money. And, and I don't want anybody to think, you know, that suddenly the bills have stopped coming. <laughs> you know. Any other business? Still. What's the status of the uh, Economic Alliance Service Agreement? I believe. Uh, I can address that if you want. Go ahead. The Economic Alliance uh, Service Agreement uh, is an agreement that continues of its own accord unless uh, one side or the other votes or directs that we're no longer interested in the agreement. I have been contacted by the uh, people at Economic Alliance with regard to some amendments or changes they would like to make to the agreement. I have advised them that uh, if there's something in the service agreement that they think would be uh, enhanced with a change, that they should prepare those changes and provide it to my office so that I can review it. And uh, if I find the changes to be favorable, I'll probably bring it to uh, an appropriate committee, and I don't know what committee that would be. Um, and if I find them to be unfavorable, but I'm concerned about the direction it's going, then I'll probably bring that to a committee as well. At this point, I have no idea what their recommended uh, amendments to the agreement will be. Well, I guess I need some clarification here because my understanding is that we were told is that this would be for a one-year period and we could renew it at the end of the first year. But if it's self-perpetuating, I, you know, there's conflicting stories here. Oh, I don't, I don't think you've ever gotten a different story from my office. Well, so I don't know. I don't know to but what I'm saying spoke. is, but we, I, I believe, I don't have the documents for me, but I believe we were told that this would come up for renewal, you know, after one year. And we're approaching that one year. Mr. Yeah, I, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think some of the uh, misunderstanding or confusion um, is that we, we agreed that in one year we would look at it, and that's basically the July time frame. Uh, if there was any need for amendments and so forth uh, that we needed to come up with these the agreement itself if I remember correctly uh, would automatically renew in, in November uh, unless some amendments were brought up and forwarded to the state attorney's office so that's that's where we're at right now so uh, they've been passed in the past four. I guess I would remind everybody you should all have received copies of the agreement if you haven't I'm sure that you can obtain them from the administration department but I think you've probably received them in the past. Uh, take a look at them. If you've got questions, concerns, issues with regard to the current status or form of that agreement, <coughs> like everything else, send it to our office. Tell us what your concerns are. We'll take a look at them and see. At this point, uh, the, e the Economic Alliance has taken it upon themselves for changes that they think would be beneficial, obviously. Uh, while it is a cooperative agreement, uh, I'm not going to recommend to the county any changes that I believe would be detrimental to the county's interest. Uh, nor would I expect this board or this committee or any committee of the board to uh, approve any changes that would be detrimental to the county's interest. So that'll be your call in the end, but we'll, we'll give you our take on it. Any other questions? Uh, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay. Made by Mr. Witten, seconded by Mr. Mark. I'll say aye. Aye. aye.